Hello everybody, it's Netta here and welcome back to another Life is Strange episode. Now today we might finish the first episode, which is super exciting. It's episode four, it's part four of uh, episode one. So, I mean, it's pretty much time to finish it and uh, yeah, there are three more episodes after this. So I uh, hope you stay tuned for that. This is such a beautiful view. Isn't this awesome, Sauce? Totally reminds me of when we were kids. Can I take a picture of it? Come on, slow poke! Nah, Hold there's on. just a bird and a sunset. I think we we'll have to I take haven't a been picture here in of... forever. So why do I feel like I was just here? Because you oh. had that dream. This is the exact same path I was on during my nightmare today. It wasn't a nightmare though. You know it. Hello, cute little squirrel. Aww. You that and me. Cute. Stare contest. Yeah, let's do it. Let's. Oh. Oh. I guess I won. <laughs> um. Let's explore. Is there anything to explore here? Like it's just literally forests. <gasps> Bird. Photo. Hello. Photo. Come on. No. Wait. Does it fly away? No, it didn't. I got you. That's a beautiful bird. It's blue. You don't really see blue birds in Lithuania. Or maybe I just don't look at trees and places where birds could be. Wait, can I go there? I don't think so. What is this? A board? Okay, I guess look. They haven't updated this sign since the 1980s. Cool. They use area only, bottle. And I can't really go out, can I? That old fence is part of the landscape now. The path behind it leads to the parking lot. I wouldn't have guessed. I guess let's follow um, Chloe. For a second there, I, I feel forgot like her name. I'm in nightmare again. Aw. It's actually bad. If it brings uh, bad memories, then it's bad. Oh my god, he looks bad. Earth to Max, your white knight wore in here. I know you were worried about me. I owe you. Thanks for today. I'll call you back, okay? I swear. No problem. And you still have to tell me your big secret. Fool's kek. Birds are so lucky, they can always escape. There's so many birds here. Wowzer, Chloe drew that to mark our tree fort, so we'd always be able to find each other in case of emergency. <sighs> Has anyone checked what that skull marks? Oh my god, I forgot all about this. Too bad I can't rewind that far back. Oh, that's really cute. A tree haiku? How pretty. Those sure aren't big feet. What kind of animal left those prints? A raccoon? I don't know. I'm not good at animals. Clearly, the Bigfoots are everywhere. Yep. Too bad it's locked. I remember racing up and down the steps. Can you pick the lock? I mean, no one would see you anyways. There's no How one here. How long has that been here? Just no one. Campfire. Looks like the youth of Arcadia Bay still come up here to party. I never made it. Can I take a picture of the sun? Because I need to take a picture of the sunset. Maybe Chloe? Maybe. Yes, photo. And 
and now I can sit next to her. You sure you don't want to be alone? Have a seat, Pete. Pete? Bye. My pleasure. Feels nice out here after all that drama. You really took one for Team Chloe. I'm not as brave as you. And David is indeed a step douche. I'm sorry you had to experience it firsthand. You have to live with him. Has he always been this way? Ever since my desperate mom dragged his ass to our home, I never trusted David. He freaked out on poor Kate Marsh today. I know her. She's cool. Only that prick would bully her. He has some kind of weird agenda. He has a lot of secret files. Rambo still thinks he's gathering enemy intelligence. Did you take a peek? Yeah. Well, yeah. I couldn't help it. Never change. What did you find? Creepy photos of Kate Marsh. Other Blackwell students. This dude takes his job too seriously. He still thinks he's at war or something. He's a total surveillance fetish. Where are there spy cams in the house? I knew you didn't know. Chloe, your house is under surveillance. What are you talking about? There are cameras all over the house. I saw it on a monitor in the garage. I knew it. He's so hella fucking paranoid. I'll keep this a secret for now. Sometimes ignorance is bliss. No wonder I'm so miserable. Everybody in this town knows everybody's secrets. Wait, but that means that um, the cameras picked up uh, Chloe stealing the gun, right? Even yours? Not anymore. So what do you have on Nathan? He's an elite asshole who sells bad shit cut with laxative. And he dosed me with some drug in his room. What? I met him in some shithole bar that didn't card me. He was too rich for the place and too wasted, and he kept flashing bills. Just tell me what happened, Chloe. Now. I was an idiot. I thought he was so blazed it would be an easy score. You needed money that bad? Actually, yes. I owe big time. And I thought I'd have enough for me and Rachel if she showed up. So, what about you and Nathan? We went to his room at Blackwell. He drank, and I laughed at his rich kid bullshit. He was one step ahead and put something in my beer. God, Chloe. I can't believe this. I mean, I do. Then what? I know I passed out on the floor. I woke up and that perv was smiling, crawling towards me with a camera. So disgusting. Everything was a blur. I tried to kick him in the balls and broke a lamp. Nathan freaked, so I managed to bum rush the door and get the hell out. <sighs> Max, it was insane. Yeah, it Chloe, is. Chloe, that is so fucked up. What did you do then? I figured I would make him pay me to keep quiet. So we met in the bathroom. And he brought a gun. That was Nathan's last mistake. He's still dangerous, Chloe. Not just to you. Good thing you didn't tell anyone. Nathan Prescott better watch his back now. I won't always be there to save you. You were here today, Max. You saved me. I'm still tripping on that. Seeing you after all these years feels like... Destiny. If this is destiny, I hope we can find Rachel. I miss her, Max. This shit pit has taken away everyone I've ever loved. I'd like to drop a bomb on Arcadia Bay and turn it to fucking glass. Oh, he's 
still up there? I oh, have to find me. out. I can actually uh, control her now. It actually annoys me that I can't run. Whoa! Oh my god. Am I going the right way? Oh, jeez. Yeah, I'm gonna have to rewind that. Ah, okay. Further away. Is that enough? I'm just really paranoid that it will fall on me. Hello. I wonder what that goes represent. Oh my god, no. There's a path, but I'll take it right at that moment, like here, now. Okay. So now let's read the newspaper. October 11th? Is this Friday? That's only four days away. Oh no. The tornado is headed straight for the town. Sucks. Max, what's going on? You totally blacked out. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Oregon gets about five tornadoes every 20 years. You just zoned. No, no, I saw it. I could actually feel the electricity in the air. Come on, take a breath, okay? Chloe, I'm not crazy. But there's something else I have to tell you. Something hardcore. Talk to me, Max. I had the same vision earlier in class. When I came out of it, I discovered I could reverse time. Like I said, not crazy. But hi, right? Listen to me, how do you think I saved you in the bathroom? By reversing time? Yeah, sure. I saw you get shot, Chloe. Saw you actually die. I was able to go back and hit the fire alarm. Okay, I see you're a geek now with a great imagination, but this isn't anime or a video game. People don't have those powers, Max. Oh, I don't know what I have, game. but I have it. And I'm scared shitless. You need to get high. It's been a hell insane fucking day. Snow. What the hell is this? Snowflakes? It's like 80 degrees. I'd How? love to smell climate really change. Like do you imagine a storm is coming? Snow during Max, a hot summer day. Start from the beginning. Tell me everything. Kate, I want to help her. We haven't seen that guy, right? Not yet. Oh my god, imagine snow when it's sunny and hot outside. Could you? That would be so beautiful in real life. 
it is beautiful here as well. That's it. That is episode one. Now, I know this episode was super short. It was like 17 minutes. Um, and I'm sorry about that. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. Leave a comment on what you want to see on my channel and uh, your thoughts about this game. I absolutely love it and I'm so glad there are more episodes to it. But yeah. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! I know I already ended off the episode, but <laughs> I didn't know that there are gonna be these stats here. So hey, let's do this after the outro. So um, I hid the truth from the principal and didn't report Nathan having a gun. I comforted Victoria, which is what I would do in real life. I would not make fun of someone who made fun of me, even though they deserve it. Um, I intervened to help out Kate after not intervening and taking the picture. And I came out of hiding to intervene. Huh. And I could have also stayed hidden, blamed Chloe, or take, take the blame for for Chloe. I mean, I took the blame for Chloe, right? And I also came out of hiding, so mm, that doesn't really make sense. But yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!